Teaching creationism in schools has been hotly debated in the United States since the Scopes trial in 1925. Though the U.S. Constitution forbids the official establishment of religion, today, many state-sponsored public schools continue to teach the Christian doctrine of creationism. So why does the U.S. still teach creationism? Well, first off, in general, creationism is the belief that God created the universe out of nothing and designed humans to resemble himself. Many fundamentalists also follow the biblical idea that the earth is less than 10 thousand years old. But evolution, a scientific theory popularized by Charles Darwin in the 19th century, conflicts with these religious beliefs. Evolution supposes that man evolved from primates over time and that the earth is billions of years old. In the past, because the U.S. is mostly Christian, states had various laws banning the teaching of evolution in public schools, or at least mandating that it be taught alongside creationism. However, the Supreme Court has declared that teaching creationism violated the Constitution's established clause. Public schools must be religiously neutral, and science is not legally considered a form of religion. However, some teachers still find ways around federal laws by choosing their words carefully. If they educate children about creationism, but don't specifically advocate for it, it's still legal. In Tennessee and Louisiana, schools have state laws allowing teachers to address alternatives to evolution without advocating them. In Texas and Arkansas, charter schools reportedly use textbooks that support creationist views. Then, in 10 other states, including Florida, Georgia, Indiana, and Ohio, private schools, including religious institutions, still teach creationism. So right now, there are thousands of students being taught Christian doctrine in the place of widely accepted science every year. Because the U.S. remains a predominantly Christian, conservative nation, a 2014 Gallup poll revealed that 42% of Americans still believe in creationism. In the end, the debate will rage on, even though the federal government has pretty clearly spoken on the issue in favor of evolution.